Hi and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Uh, in this video we're gonna look at this fly. <laughs> this fly is called KK. It's um, a, tie, uh, a fly uh, tied by uh, Kent Korgård Hansen. And um, the cool thing is, uh, you know, from, uh, from my previous video, I said that if you have a fly you wanted to send me and uh, perhaps do a tutorial on, uh, send me an email. And uh, I've been, my email box is filled with flies. And uh, <laughs> thank you so much. And Kent, I mean, um, he has really put down the work in, you know, uh, making a how, we, how I'm gonna tie the fly and I've been sending him pictures and he, it's very detailed and you know the more detailed you guys are the better the fly is gonna look when I'm finished with it so uh, thank you Kent uh, and uh, as you can see on this fly I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put up a picture of uh, a fly that uh, Kent has tied from his Instagram account check it out you can see uh, his fly is a little it's, it's, it's another color on the body hackle He's using a golden badger uh, cape. It's a, it's a cheap golden badger uh, from it's also on China Cape. Uh, I don't have that. I have uh, uh, this one, this badger ha uh, uh, hackle, and uh, I use this for a tail. And uh, for the body hackle, I I have uh, these orange ones. So uh, it, it's gonna look a little bit different, but uh, it's the same technique and. Um, and the same dubbing and everything. So uh, thank you Kent for uh, for the tips. And again, if any one of you have uh, some fly, you know, uh, Kent has been tying this for a while and fish, fished it for a while and caught a lot of fish on it. And he's also given the fly to some buddies. And they've been like, yo, this fly works really good. I catch a lot of fish on it. So those are the flies I want. I want the flies that has been fished, that you know people has used uh, a fly that you know people are talking about. These are the flies I really want for the channel. Uh, so um, thanks a lot to everyone. <laughs> I have a lot to do the, these upcoming days. So let's see how many we can do. How many flies are there out there? So yeah. Okay, we're gonna go through the materials as we go. And uh, as always, you can find the uh, skip the intro <laughs> and you can find my social media and my sponsor, everything down below in the description of the video. And you will all also find a material list where I put down everything, you know, what I'm using. And um, yeah, are we ready? I think we should start with a cup of coffee. That's that's kind of uh, been our thing, hasn't it? <laughs> so, cheers. Oh, oh that's a really strong one. <laughs> okay, should we have a look at the fly? Yeah. So, here you can see the fly. Uh, and as you can see, I've used the orange, orange badger hackle for the body hackle. And I think it looks great. Um, and uh, the hackle tips. And uh, there are a few things we have to watch out for when we tie this fly, okay? It's very important. Okay, let's start. So we're gonna put in a hook and I'm using the Arex NS 110 in a size six. And I'm just gonna use some white 6O and start in the front. I'm going to make a nice foundation for our fly and we're going to tie in the tips and I've chosen uh, these tips. These are quite, you know, uh, quite thin. You don't want too wide uh, hackle tips for, for, uh, for, um, for this fly because uh, the the gobies you know they have a thin th tail so so make sure they are thin these are nice and thin so we're going to pair them up dull side against dull side so the shiny part is out i'm going to make sure they are the same length and i have a chopper outside 
Oh, I I can I I don't see that much. You know, you guys don't use Badger that uh, that a lot. So, okay. So, uh, almost the same length as the whole hook. And I'm gonna do the same technique, just pull it out a little bit and we're gonna have it just by the barb, you see, down there. And I'm gonna pinch it, do a wrap, push it down and tighten up. The same, I'm gonna go backwards. All the way down so the thread is aligned with the barb. Don't go any further back and go forwards again. And as you can see, the tail is perfect, perfect. Snip off the waist. And then we're gonna support it. I like to support this uh, also on Matukas and you know, on, on uh, Big Old Demon. I like to take a couple turns underneath just to support the tail a little bit. But look at that one. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna tie in the eyes. And we're going to use uh, bead chain eyes in black, medium, medium size, these ones. And now, this is so important, You, this is so important if you're going to tie this lie. I'm going to give you a millimeter measurement. You need to have four millimeters here, can you see? You need that much space because uh, this fly is built up with a lot of, uh, you, know, you can see, a lot of uh, SLF dubbing uh, or baitfish dubbing or whatever you use, uh, SDF. Um, so you need to have a lot of room in the front to do a couple of turns here, you know. So you have to set the eyes so you have at least, at least three millimeters. Please, please, please. Be very, 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 very... Accurate, 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 accurate. Yeah, about that. Two, three to four millimeters in front. Okay, yeah. And I'm just gonna do some figure of eights. Like that. And I'm gonna go under, 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 and pull it and go back. And make sure they are nice and straight and we're going to secure them with some super glue yeah super glue we love super glue just a drop this is going to secure the eyes and also if you fill up this part with uh, too much uh, thread you're going to have some trouble when you go over with the dubbing loop so make sure it's nice and tight but don't fill it up with thread because the fly is going to get bulky and then we're going to tie in our hackle. And I've chosen this one. Can you see? And my, uh, it's not so easy. To, I don't want these long ones. I just want this part of the fly. And we're going, actually going to just going to take three to four turns. So we're going to find the tip. And I'm going all the way out here. And the length of the fibers should be around. So they you know, touch the tip or go just past the tip. So this, I can use the front part of this hackle. And we're gonna tie it in uh, upside down like that, with the dull side down. And I'm gonna flatten out my thread by spinning it to the right, just a little bit. Stop there, go forwards again, tie it down. Snip off, and then we're gonna dub our body. And again, I I say this all the time. When you're making a dubbing body, make sure you make a nice thin dubbing noodle. Don't overdo it. So we're going on the back, and I'm pulling and tighten. Pull tight. We want a tapered body, so. I'm going to go forwards and I'm going to set the distance. And also here, you also need about three millimeters behind here because this part is the front of the fly. So don't go all the way up here. Make sure you have at least three millimeters there. I'm going to go back again. And it looks like I'm going to have a little bit more. 
a little bit more. Go forwards again, make a nice and tapered body, you know, like a cigar. Oh, just a little bit more, a little bit more, just a little bit, or as I say, just a bit of it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, make a nice tapered body like that. Ah, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And make sure you have the space. Yeah. And then we're gonna palmer our fly, pull this back uh, with the shiny part uh, going forwards. And actually it's it's not that, uh, you know, important because we're gonna brush it a little bit. But now we're gonna make Three, three to four turns on the body. That's three and four. Because it's very important that the, the body is nice and segmented, you know. And we're going to take one turn in the front. And now I think it's, it's okay. So we're going to tie off our hackle underneath or one more. Oh, that's okay. And tie it off in underneath. Snip it off, don't snip off your thread, and then pull pull all, everything back and go back again. And now I'm tying in over the last hackle section, so we secure it. Can you see? And now we're just going to brush a little bit, just a little bit, brush it a little bit backwards. These uh, fibers will help the hackle, you see? So the hackle fibers uh, lean backwards, just a little bit. Don't overdo it. Oh, it looks great. It looks great. Look at the nice thin tail. Oh, this is a cool fly. And um, uh, Kent also told me that uh, you can you can tie. You know, uh, he also seen these flies in an, in a pink color. You know, with pink badger. And, uh, and white, all white, so you can you can play around with colors and also you can tie it with some trigger point uh, with the orange front or something, yeah, so. Okay, now make a dubbing loop. And I like to make a big dubbing loop for, for flies, you know, especially when I make making these type of flies. A big one, big one, big one. Almost, I like to make my dubbing loops the same length as my bobbin, a little bit longer than my bobbin. And then go forwards with your thread and I'm going to make a half hitch, you know, just like that. I'm going to put my bobbin holder, thread holder, bobbin holder, up on my thingy bob, there, this one. <laughs> and now we're going to mix the dubbing. And uh, you're gonna mix, for the head, you're gonna mix it like one third. That, uh, it's one part black and three parts tan, or cream, or what you, we're using tan, okay? So we're gonna pull out some dubbing. And now, this is the hardest part for me to show you guys how, guys, how much dubbing I have in my hand. Can you see it? It's quite a lot. It's it's better to make a little bit too much, you know. And when we put in the fibers in the dubbing loop, we're gonna make it. Uh, it's, it's better to have a longer dubbing loop with spread out materials than a short one with uh, a lot of materials because then you can just stop when you're when you're when you're happy. Okay. So pull out a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of some tan and then put in some black. Black, black, black. One part black and three parts tan. And now we're actually gonna, now we're gonna go in and we're gonna mix up our dubbing like this. This is very, very important, very important to do. Mix, mix, mix. Because then we are lining up the fibers and we're mixing the dubbing. Like that. Can you see? I'm just holding them pulling them apart, putting them all top on each other. And now, as you can see, these fibers are very long. We don't need these long fibers. So we're gonna actually gonna cut them in two. 
like that. And I'm taking these, putting them on top, and I'm gonna go a couple of times more like this. Then you will also taper out the, the ends of the fibers. Now I'm, I'm stuck with this, uh, this amount, okay? So we're gonna put this in our dubbing loop. Now we don't want to put in this big bunch, okay? So we're gonna spread them out as much as we can like this and put them in our dubbing loop. And at this point, I mean, I've, I've shown you this so many times. You need to spread it out, spread it out, spread it out. Can you see? Can you see what I'm doing? I hope you can. Spread it out, spread it out. Because then you have full control over what you're doing when you're you, when we're gonna put on this this on my on our fly, okay? So spread it out. Can you see? Nice and thin. And now the dubbing uh, this this is spread out almost the same same length. Can you see it here? Almost the same length as my uh, bobbin, uh, my thread, yeah, on my bob bobbin, okay? Yeah. Then you have full control. And then spin it up. And have a sip of coffee. Multitasking, you know. So spin it up. And now comes another very important part of this fly, brushing. So I'm gonna take my brush and brush. And I'm gonna brush and make make it as thin as I can. And when I say thin, I mean the center of the dubbing loop. Uh, brush it out so you almost can see the thread. Okay? Brush, 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 brush. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yes, perfect. And now, now we're gonna make the head. So I'm pulling back the fibers. I like to do that. It almost becomes like a hackle. And I'm gonna use my rotary vise. I'm gonna take a turn in the back, all the way in the back, as close as I can. One, two, three. I'm gonna go one more, four. And now I'm gonna start to crush cross underneath. Uh, how you do this? You, you, you do like you want. I like to go underneath, underneath, cross underneath first, and then cross on the top. And then I like to go straight up and cross over at the top, like that. And at this point, I like to brush out the fibers because uh, it's so easy to, to get some trapped fibers. You know, yeah. So I'm gonna go uh, underneath and cross again, like that. Make sure. I see. I use my fingers a lot and comb them out. Combing, combing, combing. I'm gonna watch and see if I'm satisfied with the mount underneath. Looks great. And I'm gonna finish off in the front. Always combing, combing with my fingers. Comb, comb, comb. One. Two, and now you can see I have made a little bit too much on this dubbing uh, loop. And that's much better because now I can just spin it up again. Spin, 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 spin. And pull out everything so I can see the thread like that. And we're going to tie off our dubbing loop. And you know, if, if, if you haven't paid attention and set the, the right uh, space for the eyes, this will be, this is not fun. <laughs> so make a couple of turns, lock down the dubbing loop and I'm gonna make a whip finish and we're almost done with our fly. Our cool KK fly. Snip off your thread, snip off your dubbing loop. And I like to prepare it, snip off this and clean it. 
So it's ready for another fly. And now this is this is a cool part of the fly. This is very cool. So we are actually we are gonna divide the fibers down and up. Like that. Up and down. This looks great. This uh, I think I've I've I've, uh, I've the nailed it with the amount of uh, of fibers. Or what do you think, Kent? Does it look okay? <laughs> I, I'm gonna fill my box with at least three or four of this fly because uh, I know I think this this works great. I can see uh, why you wanted me to film it. It looks so good. So yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna. Uh, you can use a scissor, but Kent said that uh, he likes to rip it off with his fingers because then the tips, it doesn't like look like it's been cut. It kind of tapers out a little bit more. So what we're looking for, we are trying to make a sh short fibers there and a little bit longer uh, in the back. The same here, a little bit shorter and almost so they touch the tip there. So I'm going to hold, hold the bee chain eyes like that and pinch and rip off. And of course you have to support the hook because uh, so you don't bend the hook. A little bit longer in the back and we're gonna change our fingers and I want it a little bit shorter in the front. This is how he does it and I want to do it like he does it. Look, look, look. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's so cool, man. Oh, and let's try it again in the bottom, under under part of the fly, and it looks amazing. I love this fly. Yeah, so we're gonna do it the same. Hold the bead chain, pinch, and support the hook. I'm pinching the fibers, so the, the, the fibers are breaking off just right in front of my fingers. Yeah, a little bit shorter there. And there, take it off. You can you can fiddle around with this how long also I mean you can spend a lot of time on, you know. But I'm I'm gonna also use my scissor just a little bit there and a little bit there, like that. Oh look man. It looks so cool. The KK fly. The KK stands for his uh, first and 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 second um, second name, you know. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna finish off this fly with some uh, some um, varnish, and the KK is done. It's done. Where is my dubbing needle? Here is my dubbing needle. And we're gonna varnish. I like using varnish. Boom, bada bim. Bada bim, bada boom. Oh, it looks look so good. I, I really like it. I really, really like it. So, there we go. There it is. I love the color combination. And uh, you know, you can, as I've shown you before, you can use some, some, some of this paper and just brush it so you can get some gold shine in the eyes. Small touch there, can you see? Yeah. I really like to do that. Yep, we're done. Oh. oh, I love great looking flies. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys, that's the KK fly from uh, Kent. Again, thanks a lot, everybody, from, for, for all the comments. I mean, uh, it's, it's overwhelming and it, it's really fun to see, you know, all the emails and all the comments and everything. Uh, it gives me energy, you know, it gives me energy to do more of these tutorials. So again, if you want to contact me, do it by email. Please don't use, uh, you, you can PM me on Instagram and it's, it's chaos in there. So please just send me an email, 
there's my email is down in the description along with the, my uh, you know social media and my sponsor and also my patreon page if you want to become a supporter <sighs> okay cheers and i'm looking forward to uh, to see what you guys have come up with uh, on on my email i'm gonna read it later today so all right i'll see you cheers bye